Hello everyone, this is Freename on YouTube here with a video on how to swap out a key uh, or at least replace a key if say one's been picked off or is damaged on this Asus CX1400CN uh, or the longer model number is CX1400CNA-BV0061 It's a Chromebook from around 2020-2021, uh, maybe 2022 Get your donor keyboard, or if you've ordered a key off of eBay, then uh, get hold of that. On my donor keyboard, I need to remove the key. So get the smallest flat blade screwdriver you can find and put it under the key to the uh, edge that's closest to the top. And it should unclip the little clip from the underside of the key and then repeat the same for the other side of the key. So you're only unclipping near the top of the key. You don't want to do the same near the bottom of the key because that doesn't unclip, that's a little slider. So once you've undone the two clips at the top, the key should then just slide off the bracket that is on on the keyboard. Now we need to remove the little white bracket from the keyboard. So I'm going to use my finger to push up on it uh, towards the top of the keyboard and then I'm going to use a screw, the same small screwdriver to uh, pry the key up from uh, where it's held in. And it's as simple as that. You don't really have to put a lot of force into it. And um, you should get that little white bracket out of the laptop in one piece. To put it back into the broken laptop, we need to start with it um, low down at the lowest part, or the, the front part of the keyboard. And then it slides under two brackets. And then whilst pushing it up again uh, towards the back of the keyboard. It should just drop down back onto the two little metal brackets at the top. And then you should end up with this freely moving while still fully attached to the keyboard. Then we get the keycap and a bit like removing it we need to slide it back on. The two clips at the bottom slide onto the white bracket which we've put back onto the keyboard and then with the key central to where it goes in on the keyboard, you then just push down and it will clip the two top clips back in place. And there we go. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. 